Hi, my dear friends. Today we will discuss about the timing diagrams for maximum mode memory read and memory write operations. Right? In the last class, we discussed the configuration of 8086 microprocessor in maximum mode. Right? So already I, I told that. So the timing diagram is totally divided into four steps. In the first step is that is the clock structure, right? So in the clock structure, we are using 33% of duty cycle, right? And that is with the how much frequency we are using, that is 6 megahertz. In the first step, we have to find out of 1 MB of memory, from where we are getting the, from where we have to read. Out of from 1 MB of memory, from where we have to read, that is the first step. And the second step is, processor need to say, so I am I am I am sending the I am I want to, I am perform, performing the read operation. I am performing the read operation. That means how we can perform by putting R D bar to low. Um, by putting R D bar to low. And third one, coming to third one, that is propagation time. That means how data transfer, data transfer from memory to microprocessor. Data transfer from memory to microprocessor. And the fourth one is that is processor need to capture the data. Processor need to capture the data. Right, these are the four steps we have to know about the when we know about the timing diagrams. Right, so the first we will go for memory read bus cycle timing diagram. Memory read bus cycle timing diagram. Now, dear students, please pay attention. This is very very important. First one clock already told that is first one is two, four clock pulses T1, T2, T3, and T4. Right, T1, T2, T3, T4 clock. Next, we which, which mode we are operating? C maximum mode. We are operating on which mode? Maximum mode. So, maximum mode means what we have to set put to VCC or ground. Ground we have to put. That's why MX bar pin is ground. MX bar pin is ground. Next, which operation we are performing? Read operation or IO? Uh, that is memory operation or memory operation or IO operation. We are performing memory operation. So, when we are putting memory operation, then we have to put high. That is the high point. you have to put high. Next step. Status signal S0, S1, S2. Right. So these status signals perform. So there are the eight combinations will come. Right. Just now only I discussed it. Then we have to put that as status code active or inactive. At, at which time we have to put active and which time we have to put when we want to send that data at that time you have to put the active state and we want don't want to send the data then you have to put an active state. Next step. Receive. That is memory read operation. Read operation means you have to put that is receiving the data. Here it, it represents receive. So that's why receive means R bar. R bar means you have to put to zero. R bar means you have to put to zero. In the first clock pulse, we access the address. In the next clock pulses, we have to access in transferring the data. Transferring the data. Right? So that's why see this is address. Address bus first we have to put the high. Right? And bus high enable. Bus high enable, you are putting the high. Data. Data means we have to send here. Now it is in the high. See at this time only we are transmitting the data. At this time. This time only we are transmitting the data. Right. And ALE. ALE means when it is high we are accessing the address. That is we are accessing the address. When ALE is 0 then we are accessing the data. Remember they are accessing the data. At this time ALE is 0 means we are accessing the data. Right. Memory read operation. That's why in the time of operation only we are putting read operation data and what we have to data enable this is what. So this is about memory read. Now coming to the write operation, memory write, everything is same. Only the thing is here receive. Only the difference between data and transmit and here these two signals are different except both the memory write operation and read operation in maximum mode. Memory read and write operation in the maximum mode. Dear students, please try this is very very easy. In the exam also you will don't confuse. Don't confuse. First you draw four clock pulses. Second one, perform C, whether it is minimum mode or maximum. Maximum mode, where we have to put, you put it in the maximum mode. Maximum mode, put to ground. Next, whether we are performing memory operation. Memory means M I O bar by M. Memory means memory high. Suppose if you want to perform here I O right. I O means simply you have to put low here. Put low for I O operation. Memory operation you put high. Right? Next status. The status is uh, that is you can represent the same manner. Data transmit. Receiver transmit. Right. Right means you have to transmit. Right. Remember transmit. Transmit means you have to put high from the second clock pulse. First clock pulse. First clock pulse is for their students represent this first clock pulse is for only address. This is the, the first clock pulse. 
is for only address remember after finding the address then we have to go for the data after completing the data then again there is will be disable the data then again you have to disable so at that this time only we are transmitting the data at this time only we have to write the data at that time the bhc should be low bhc should be low and ale should be low ale should be low okay in this way we have to draw, uh, draw the timing diagrams for the maximum read and write operations dear students until then thank you